welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to do another uh, Collective Energy reading. How are you guys doing today? What's going on in your neck of the woods? Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section. Let me know how it resonates. Let me know how you're doing. If the, if the reading does not resonate with you, take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Share it with somebody it may resonate with. All right, so let's get you some clarifying charms to set the mold. Tell me what the energy, what's the energy we're going to be dealing with today, Spirit? All right, so we got hammer. I think this is family. Um, is that Leo? I forgot what Leo symbol is. I have to look that one up. Oh, Omega. Oh, okay. That's a Greek letter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 21. That's a monkey on a branch. And then 90. 90 is, um, what is that? Cafe. Oh, somebody wants to take you on a date? Let me see. Yeah, so somebody's hammering out the details, trying to build something better. Um, happy family, dealing with family members. I feel like this 10 of cups kind of, or 10 of coins situation. Omega, though, Omega represents, Omega is a letter in the Greek alphabet, and it also represents the eternal, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Somebody knows that they have to release something um, to have a new beginning. Let me see what else we got here. Monkey, scatter thoughts, monkey mind. This is what somebody has to overcome, the scatter thoughts, the monkey mind, that energy, that to me, it's more like squirrel energy, but I guess monkeys do the same thing where, you know, you see something, you just go for it. You don't think of the consequences. You just, you know, oh, wow, that's pretty. That's shiny. And you just do it. And I feel like that's either you or your person has a monkey mind or, or a squirrel mind. But it says take time with friends, go on lighthearted dates. Somebody needs, they want a new beginning and they're going to have to start. I feel like they're going to have to start slow. Um, this is somebody that you're going to have to go back to getting to know them. Um, so I feel like hammering the details is in the past energy. So something about how this was supposed to go was somebody, I, I feel like somebody or somebody's were trying to work that out in the past. And it had to do with a family situation. And this is like make or break, y'all. This is kind of a... You know, either we're going to get it right or we're just going to leave it alone because the challenge here is the distractions. Somebody is like, they see something curvy walking down the road and their whole neck turns. That's the energy I'm getting. It's like somebody who is basic. I feel like, you know, on a disrespectful level, you know, like with somebody, you holding somebody's hand and then... You see something sexy move down the block and your neck is craned and you don't even realize that you're doing it. That's the kind of monkey mind I'm thinking. Also, it could be monkey mind over material possessions. Somebody thinks everything that glitters is gold. It's not. Tell me more about the energy for my collective spirit. Please and thank you. Imagination. Yeah, somebody got a wild imagination, y'all. Somebody has a wild and creative imagination. So I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Tell me more spirit. Trust. It says, I accept my inner voice will always, I mean, I'm sorry, I accept that my inner voice Will always guide me correctly. 
love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Somebody, listen, somebody, I feel like somebody's monkey mind created some trust issues. And, but love is at the forefront. So they still love whoever they've been disappointing with this monkey mind. They still very much love that person. Tell me more, Spirit. And if that person is you, meaning, um, I mean, if that person is loving you with Omega here in the same position, it's like saying that they um, love you unconditionally no matter what. You are the beginning, you're the end, you're at home. Tell me more, Spirit. You are home to this person. Judgment. Well, I think they deserve a little judgment over that monkey mind because they need, they need to exercise better control. Tell me more, spirit. Loneliness. Yep, this is why the person wants to take you out on a date because they're lonely. They miss you. Collecting. Bottom of the deck. Worry. Oh, yeah. They miss you and they worry that you might not return to their lives or be back in their lives in some way. I think they worry that um, they've done a lot to disappoint you and they haven't worked hard enough to show you that they appreciate you. So they're lonely. It says, I know that I'm never alone. I feel like when they're with you, they feel connected. When they're with others, they feel disconnected. So they feel very lonely. Judgments here is that I understand that everything has their own unique, everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. Well, the challenge here. The challenge, and this is my challenge and lesson lesson position, is that they got a scatterbrained mind. Now, I don't know if this person was a cheater, but I'm getting heavy disrespectful vibes as far as, like, how you would behave with a partner. Like, if you're married to somebody or you're dating somebody, you don't, you know, do stuff like that. You don't look at other people blatantly, longingly, you know, at them while your partner is right there, you know? And I don't feel like the person is, that this person, excuse me, has been busted for that. So there's less trust in the relationship where it should be, you know, something that pre-existed. But I feel like it's it's not. And this person is worried, says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I don't know if they were, lear were learning that part, but there's worry here. And they're up in their head with that purple, Energy sets coming from the crown chakra or third eye. But this person is just in heavy regret and worry for the way they did you. And they're lonely about it. I feel like they're in a five of coins energy just out, out in the cold. Um, let me pull my deck. So tell me more for collective. What can they do? What what can what will the outcome be for this situation? Like tell me more, Spirit. What's going on in their imagination? Abundance. Oh, okay. So somebody was probably working on their money. I think they were focused on something else, which was material wealth. Um, this sounds like a masculine energy. Somebody was trying to focus on their stability. Um, imagine. I feel like this is somebody with monkey mind is giving me that somebody was going for multiple opportunities at once that couldn't concentrate, didn't get too far. Now, I feel like now they got to start all over. Oops. Green. So about a green Sagittarius. Trust. Okay, so Sagittarius is the sign of truth. Um, Sagittarius is a senator that has the bow and arrow of truth. And, it's, it's, and it lands on trust. So it is giving me that there's trust issues. Um, and there also is somebody in their lives or in your life or whoever this is. Um, there's someone who is a truth teller. They And they don't, it don't matter to them who get the truth. They do it. They say it. They show it. Tell me more. Indigo. Taurus. So this is somebody who um, 
I mentioned crown chakra. This is somebody in their heart, their mind, and their body, meaning their three chakras are lining up. The crown chakra, the heart, and the root chakra are lining up in the vibration of love, which means as one passes through, starting with the root chakra, they work their way up to the crown chakra and they balance everything else as they go. So it says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This person wants to uh, operate on the vibration of love, but there's still an ending. With this Omega here, they got to put something to rest. Tell me more spirit about judgment. Harvest and growth. So the judgment that they're experiencing, either from you or the other person, um, is going to help them grow. And then they'll eventually be able to harvest uh, what they've grown, meaning based on them improving their personalities, um, their actions and their ways, they're going to eventually be able to benefit from those changes in life. This harsh judgment is giving stubborn energy. And I say it's harsh because I feel like this person could have done something different to have a different outcome. But yet here we are. Tell me more spirit about loneliness. This lifetime. I you know, I heard I'm gonna get it right this lifetime. I'm gonna get it right. I just need another chance. Can we start slow? Can we start fresh? Um, this person has put you through a lot of cycles. Bottom of this deck. Um, let me see on the other side of the deck. Cancer. Yeah. They put you in um, cycles in your home. Cancer energy gives mother mother energy. Ruled by the moon. Uh, cancer energy. This is giving. Um, they messed up in the home. Either you live with this person. Or you were planning to. Or they were planning to live with you. But they couldn't. They couldn't get it together. I just feel like they kept kept you in cycles. They kept coming back for more. But there's love here. And they're very lonely right now. There's truth. There's abundance. There's harvest. So, I mean, on the flip side of things, it's not all bad. I, I feel like growth underneath harvest is here for a reason. Somebody is growing. Let's see, what's this lifetime? Union. Yeah, they want to come into union. They want to come out of loneliness. This is this this is the energy of somebody returning. Um, but they are returning because the grass was not greener on the other side. I'm just keep it a buck. 100. This person was not trying to return. They want, I feel like they want to do things on their own. And now they got more than they bargained for. Like somebody's like, I got it. I don't need your help. I'm fine. Everything's fine. And then it wasn't. As soon as you say, okay, do it your way. I will stay out your way. You know, like you said, it's fine. I'll leave it alone. And then they got into the world and things were not fine. Things were not fine. Your person, um, <laughs> stubborn is to say the least. I feel like this is a very pig-headed person. Like, they just really don't, um, they don't listen. The person does not listen. They got all, this is somebody got all the answers, y'all. And then they ended up lonely. They, they want to love the way they want to love. This is somebody who... Who will not I feel like this person does not want to pay attention to um love languages. They got their own way of doing things and that's it. They believe in abundance, but they gotta hammer out these details. They just they I feel like they feel like the only detail they need to hammer out is I need money. And that's couldn't be further from the truth. Money is important, but it's not everything. Tell me more spirit about abundance. Yep, confused. 
I think your person is very influenced by other people. Yeah, even to go a different direction. I don't know if they're focused on coming towards you or not, but whatever they're doing, they're changing their course now. Whatever they're in the midst of is about to end because they're going a different direction than what was anticipated for them. Tell me more spirit if I want to go. So I feel like your person is, wants to drop in on you and present you with a love offer with the storks here. Yeah, they want to drop in and give you some uh, sweet nothings. I, I just don't get them sticking around long, but let's see. Yeah, they're definitely growing. The sun is here, lights up the spread. Tell me more spread. And they're taking a deeper look. Okay, so this person, I feel like they're in a bit of isolation. You are the key to their heart. You are the sunshine and lights that they're up their life. But they now need to show you their rays of sun. I feel like that's what it is. They now need to show you their rays of sun. They need to look at things deeper. Or they are. Because the likely out, that's the likely outcome. Is them taking a deeper look. I feel like this is also hangman energy. Looking at things with a different perspective. Excuse me, I need to grab some gulps of water. But your person wants to now, like, I feel like this person will tread carefully with you. That might be why they want to have a lighthearted date, you know. They don't want to, I feel like this person does not want to offend you, does not want to anger you. I think they're very lonely. I feel like they're missing you. They want union with you. They want connection with you. They don't want to mess this up. I'm telling you. Whoever this is does not want to mess this up with you. They love you. I see love here. They want to overcome these trust issues. That's why they want to change direction in the way it was behaving. They know you're not going to accept anything but the truth. So help you God. Hand on the Bible and all of that. They, they know. You are not accepting anything less than the truth. But you have you hold the key to their heart. When they start stop, excuse me, stop cycling, maybe they'll stand there, you know, still enough to use the key. Tell me more, spirit, please. Whoa. All right, so it says a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra. We having a full moon or new moon and Libra coming up. So we may feel some energy, some Libra energy real soon. Tell me more, Spirit. But it's, it looks like the scales of justice will be balanced out. So this person is coming in thinking, of, they're already thinking about how can I put in this work with imagination. They're already trying to figure out how to move forward with you. Tell me more. Time for healing. Yeah, they want to heal the situation. They want to come clean. This is like seven of swords in reverse. They now want to be honest with you. Now they want to talk. Now they got something to say. They want to quell this problem. Whatever the problem is they're having with you. Now they want to clean it up. Tell me more spirit. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, this is your person stepping into the North Node and coming out of that stubborn Selfish energy, I think they're in right now. Mm. This person is changing. Tell me more, spirit. You're very close to achieving your goal. With this sun card and judgment and growth, I feel like the harvest is, as my people would say, soon come. It's coming. It's coming. I feel like... Um, mm. This person is too lonely to stay away. But Spirit says you need to meditate and contemplate. Bottom of the deck, the energy is gaining momentum. So as this person is coming towards you, and I feel like they're coming slowly, 
but they're start they put it away they started slowly and now the energy is gaining momentum now this person is probably going a little faster than they were before because they're lonely the spirit says meditate and contemplate they're digging deeper they want this union they want to have a light-hearted conversation with you temperature check you know this person may have tried this route before stubborn people tend to do things sometimes they do things repetitively but this person might have had these light-hearted conversations with you but i feel like you require more not demand not make but require more than what they're giving. So Spirit wants you to kind of, and maybe temper your response, because I feel like this person could be coming in um, like an injured bird, injured bird. Does not mean you have to have pity on them. It's just tread a little careful. Sagittarius energy is very verbal. You might know exactly what you want to say. Um when this person comes toward you but that Sagittarius energy is very truth seeking truth talking and this person in this new moon and Pisces energy might not be able to handle the truth well that's a them problem not your problem I just feel like be as tactful as possible be gentle with your words you, I feel like with this situation, you don't have to be harsh to make an impact. Yeah. That's your reading. Um, Your person is worried about this situation with y'all. They're going to temperature check you to see how mad you are. To see if you're willing to hear them out. Um... They want union. They are very lonely. If you think this person is dealing with somebody else, even if they have somebody else, they don't want them. They're not dealing with them in the way you might think they are. They might be around them. They might live with them. They might share some space. But, um, mm -mm. this person... There, there was this person, um, <laughs> this person, they're going to very, they're going to tread very lightly with you, very lightly. And I'm just saying, try to be a little delicate, be honest, but be, a, don't be so harsh. Don't be rash. You know, just, just be a little nice, you know, be kind. Put it that way. Not nice. Be kind. Be honest, but be kind. Because this person is going to take them a lot of courage to get beyond themselves, beyond their stubbornness. Anyway, so that's your message, Collective. Thank you for coming to my reading. Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for coming to um, my readings. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Share it with somebody. Comment in the comment section. Peace.